Hey, what's going on guys? It's MaxMax24 and it is Friday, which means it's time for another weekly game. Before we get into that, please always remember to drop a like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all that jazz, all that fun stuff us YouTubers tell you guys to do. And with that, let's talk about all the things that happened this week in the gaming industry. So this week was Gamescom, so there were some fun little announcements, but nothing really mind-blowing, revolutionary, but there were some things that I'm interested in that they talked about, so let's talk about them. First off, Gears 5 is getting a horde mode, of course, every single Gears game has a horde mode, and Gears 5, why would that be any different? Gears 5 is getting horde mode, Halo Reach character pack as well, so you know, if you would rather play Halo instead of Gears, you can play Halo in Gears, I guess. Does this mean that Halo actually exists in the Gears universe? Some theory channel, get on that, because there's Halo Reach characters in Gears. That can only mean one thing and one thing only, that Halo exists in the Gears universe. I'm gonna make a video on that, a theory video. Genius. The Horde mode will have players, of course, building defenses and leveling up skills and stuff. And Gears 5 will be coming to Steam, okay? Not just the Windows Store, it will be coming to Steam. So that's cool. You know, it's really nice. Microsoft is moving a lot of their games to Steam. That's nice because nobody cares about the Windows Store. No, nobody, nobody even likes it. All right, why does it even exist? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But but they keep pushing it. But now now they're smart and they're putting everything on the Steam Store. So good job, Microsoft. A bunch of new Xbox Game Pass titles are announced. Again, Xbox Game Pass monthly subscription price. One of the best deals in gaming. You get library of over a hundred plus games as well as first party games upon release. And they announced a whole slate of new games coming to both the PC version and the Xbox version. We got Devil May Cry 5, Stellaris, and Age of Empires Definitive Edition, all, all available now, launching together right now. Go check out Age of Empires Definitive Edition. I just downloaded it, I'm gonna have to play it. Stellaris, if you don't have it, it's a great strategy game. I have it on Steam, so I'm not gonna use the Xbox Game Pass version, but it's a great strategy game, okay, great. And then Devil May Cry 5, haven't ever tried it, but I will have to give it a shot now. And then Ape Out and Kingdom Come Deliverance are also being added. That's awesome. Kingdom Come Deliverance apparently is a great RPG. I just got it with Humble Monthly. I'm going to have to try it out. Ape Out is, I don't know what Ape Out is, but it's there. So, And then Bard's Tale 4 and Blair Witch Project are also coming. So, you know, if you want to be scared to death or you want to do Bard's Tale, there you go. You'll have those. And then also Dead Cells is being added. A bunch of great games being added to Xbox Game Pass. If you don't have Xbox Game Pass yet, I don't know what you're doing. Cyberpunk 2077, along with a lot of other games, are going to be coming to Stadia. So if you're looking at Google Stadia like, hey, that might be what I want to get in the next generation, well, lucky you, Cyberpunk 2077 is coming. Again, there's no release date yet. We don't know when. We know Stadia is supposed to launch sometime this year or next year. Marvel's Avengers gameplay was shown off, and it looks it looks awesome. The Aid Aid Prologue, it... It looks cool. All right. Each character's got their own unique fighting style. Each Avenger, we got Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Hulk. Iron Man flies around, shoots his repulsors. Black Widow does ninja stuff. Captain America throws his shield at people and catches it and throws it again. Thor uses his hammer and lightning. Hulk bashes people against the ground. It looks like a great game. Okay, it looks like it's going to be fun. Now, it's not going to be open world. Sorry to disappoint, but it's not going to be open world. It's going to be an expansive world. But I did not expect anything else from Square Enix. They don't really make open world games, but their worlds are expansive. So, you know, it, it, it'll it be great. Okay, it comes out in May. I can't wait. I'm going to check it out. Cannot wait. Death Stranding gameplay was also shown off, and I'm still confused. Still confused, but I'm going to buy it. Because screw you, Hideo Kojima. You just do something to us that we just need to buy your game. Screw you. But yeah, it's it's strange. You can pee. Okay, that's a mechanic. You pee. And if you pee in the same spot constantly, something will happen. It looks like you go around the, pl the U.S. linking up cities and stuff. And then Jeff Keighley, the, games award, the Game Awards and E3 Coliseum host, uh, talks to you. Yeah, he's in the game. Hideo Kojima and him have like a great relationship, so you know, now he's in a game. And he's like an integral part of the game, I guess. So that's it's cool. But yeah, peeing. Peeing is a mechanic. That's literally how the gameplay demo starts off is you see Norman Reedus take a piss. I wanna buy your game. I really do. Goes to show what gamers like. We like I guess we like that kind of stuff. 
a bunch of fun games were announced at Gamescom. I'm just going to talk about the ones that I cared about because there was a lot. So it's hard. It's hard. Okay. There was. It's like the Nintendo showcase showed off a lot. So like, yeah, it's. I'm just going to talk about some of them. Uh, Kerbal Space Program 2 was announced, which was actually really surprising, all right? I did not see a Kerbal Space Program 2 being announced. I thought they were just going to keep doing KSP till the end of times, but no, they announced Kerbal Space Program 2, and it's coming to Steam as far as we know. Okay, it's, uh, it's got a Steam page, but I don't know. Epic might be like, hey, give me, give me, give me. It's, and then come over here and play it. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm still going to buy it either way because, you know, I'm not going to screw the devs out of money because some higher up decided to go to a different platform okay epic game store is free just saying takes five seconds well dead by daylight's new crossover was also announced a stranger things crossover okay that's the demogorgon steve and nancy as playable characters so i thought that was pretty interesting I might have to give De Dead by Daylight a try because I love Stranger Things, so it's great. Another game, Dis Disintegration, was announced. It's by X Halo devs. It looks kind of like Destiny, Anthem, but it it's intriguing, okay? X Halo devs, except for the last time we had some X Halo devs make a, make a game. We got, we got Destiny. I'm scared. It's fine, it's fine. John Wick Hex was also announced. You know those like Hex dumb little mobile games? Yeah. John Wick's getting one. So nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Humankind was also announced. It it looks like Civilization, but a 4X Civilization. So it's like real time. So, you know, I'm intrigued. It's made by the Endless Space people. So I'm going to have to check it out. And then uh, Modern Warfare Alpha was also announced. It's happening. PlayStation 4 only. 2v2 mode. Apparently, it's a great time. I'm going to have to download it when I get my... I had to take apart my PlayStation 2 because I'm moving back. I'm moving back to my... To college. It's, it's college time. So, you know, I'll have to try that when I set everything back up. But, yeah. Those are all the announcements I really cared about at Gamescom. There's also some other gameplay showing off. Like, we got some more Creedfall news. Creedfall is looking to be one of my next favorite games. We got some just lots of some more lead Watch Dogs Legions and Legion info. Uh, apparently, there's uh, an old guy that will randomly have a heart attack. There's also somebody who is an alcoholic. So yeah, again, you can play as everybody. Ultimate Alliance Three is getting some DLC. I I've been enjoying Ultimate Alliance Three. I was playing it a lot until Fire Emblem Three Houses came out, and then screw my time okay yeah just take it all fire emblem three houses just take it all but ultimate alliance 3 is getting the curse of the vampire dlc which adds moon knight punisher morbius and blade to the mix okay on top of the already 30 characters we're getting four more and then some co-op missions also and it's coming out september 30th and before that august 30th we're getting two free characters cyclops and What's his face? Colossus. We're getting those two added for free. So, you know, I'm going to have to play again. I'm going to have to finish the story because, you know, but first, I got to go play some Fire Emblem. I got to go play some Fire Emblem. And then finally, Minecraft is adding bees. Yeah. They're like giant too, okay? They're like the size of the Minecraft guy's head, okay? They're huge. And, you know, don't attack them because then they're going to get swarmed by bees and you're dead. You're, you're going to die. You're gonna, there's, there's just nothing you can do about it. You're, you're dead. And you'll be able to collect honey and stuff from them. And, you know, these will go great because NVIDIA announced that they are getting official RTX support. So, you know, that's going to be a thing. You know, they, they canceled the super duper graphics pack. But apparently the PC can get RTX. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not salty. It's not like I could have run the super duper graphics pack on my Xbox One X. No. No. I'm going to have to go buy myself an RTX card now. So I can make Minecraft look pretty. God. Who needs money anyways? But yeah, that's it for this week of news. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, as always, please remember to drop a like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Follow me on social media. Instagram. Facebook. Twitter. I upload most on Twitter. Sometimes on Facebook the least on Instagram. So follow me on one of those. And I hope to see you in the next video.